Hey guys, so today I'm going to film my depotting of this Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot box of blushes. Uh, this was a limited edition uh, part of the holiday 2014 collection, so uh, it's no longer available, although I think they had a limited number for sale sometime this summer. Uh, but I think they're all sold out now. But anyway, if you do happen to have this, I thought it might be interesting uh, just to show another depotting. So here we go. Um, it has this metal tin, which I will of course keep, and this plastic overlay with all the names on it. So I'm just going to set that to one side for now. And this, I believe, is just like a styrofoam insert so try to get this out all right so that's the tin by itself and um, I think I'm going to keep this and maybe store some ornaments that are more delicate in it. Um, so anyway, so that's the tin. And it has this mini brush, which I will put to one side, and a What's Up highlighter, which doesn't need to be depotted. And this is a cream product, I believe, so it's probably better just to keep it in its little plastic. All right, so these bits just pop out like so. Um, so I saw two other videos that um, showed people depotting this collection, and one person kind of ripped off this top layer, and one person just kind of wedged it um, underneath the pan. So I think I'm going to try um, the second one I just mentioned. And I have this. This is just a really cheap metal spatula that I got off of eBay a while ago. Oh boy. Um, this is the moment of truth. So hopefully I can do this without damaging Every time I hear the word dandelion, I think of orange as the new black. Anyone? Alright. Alright, so that was pretty easy. It's still tacky on the back there. Um, I'll go ahead and say my plan here is to um, take either the plastic um, from the overlay or I cut the back the package off um, so I'd like to hopefully it doesn't leave a residue there um, cut out the back I think I might do it with the paper just because it does have the um, the color as well as, as the name um, so I guess I'll go ahead and my trusty paper cutter here and this is dandelion okay so try to line this up as best I can Alright, that looks about as even as I think I can get it. Okay. It's not going to be perfect because when I cut it, it wasn't perfectly square. Okay. So 
that's not too bad here. Let's see, I think. That's dandelion, and this is the OCD part of me that's going to kick in here. But I think I'm going to just try and trim it so it's a little bit more square, maybe. Could just cut exactly on it, which might be the best way. Okay, so like I said, this is the super anal <laughs> OCD way of doing this. Um, I have this corner rounder, um, which I just have because, um, like for planners and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead. I wouldn't say this is a necessary part doing this at all. And it doesn't... It's a bit, I think, thick for um, this purpose. Okay. So that's what we have. Um, it's it's not bad. All right. So, oh, <laughs> the dandelion pan kind of settled back in. Hopefully it should be easy to get out now that it's been released. Okay. All right, so since this already has an adhesive on it, I'm just gonna see if I can um, just place it on top. And obviously the name of the blush is printed on it, but I figured for, you know, eventually that name would wear down if you continue to use it. So, all right, so that seems to be adhering relatively well. Um, so this is the Z palette that I'm going to be putting these in. So I just want to kind of see how the paper, all right, so that feels pretty secure with the paper on the back. So that's what that looks like. I think it's pretty cute. All right. So that is Dandelion. And this is um, the Sephora branded Z palette. This is the dome size, um, which you can get in a non Sephora branded um, edition. I actually, because it's domed, you can see kind of how much space is between the pans and the top. So I don't have any domed products. Um, so it's not really my favorite of the Z palettes I have, but there we are. All right, so let's try Hula since that one is the next one up there. Every time I start to do this, I kind of hold my breath. All right. All right, so there's Hula, and again, um, this is the Hula piece that I cut off, so I'm just going to try to round these corners as well, just because I like the way it looks. It's just aesthetic. Some of these just need a little bit of help. All 
Okay, that's probably good enough. So again, adhesive is already on the back. And this to me, I mean, it solves the problem also of trying to get the adhesive off. Although I can feel it a little bit on the side, but um, I mean, you can just take some rubbing alcohol and with a cotton bud or cotton ball or whatever. But this to me solves two problems. All right. So I guess I'll go ahead and cut this up. All right, so I know I don't need this side portion because the What's Up has the name on it. I'm not potting it. So get rid of that. And this has a bit of tape, so hopefully it allows me to. Okay, it's not too bad. And then we need to go down the middle. Like so. And it looks like Coralista is up. Alright, and then I'll just go ahead and cut And then again with my trusty So that sugar bomb is actually on the corner. This is, well, it doesn't matter at this point really. Okay. I'm gonna have to clean the spatula off. It's getting kind of sticky as well. Alright, so this is Sugar Bomb. And just goes on like so. Okay. Into ZZ palette. Okay. And let's do Bella Bomba. Billabamba. I always think of that like 1950s, 1960s song. Alright, so that's four down, two to go. Bella Bamba. I wonder, okay, so you can fit three down and then obviously the two across. All right, moving right along. This is Rockateur. Okay. 
All right, so last two here. I think it is better really to go from the outside. Kind of wedge. Coralista. Okay. Put this guy in. And last but not least. Tour. Kind of wish they'd put Hervana in this palette, but oh well. All right. So here is the finished product here. So hopefully, I'll actually use these now. And that's what they look like. Um, I might, I might try to spread these out, but they fit so nicely as it is. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that depotting. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.